So what is privilege? Privilege is simply access to benefits based on traits that you possess. And those benefits could be education, it could be employment, it could just simply be wealth, could be leadership positions. That is what privilege is, is access. And I like to split privilege broadly into two major groups. There is what I call birth privilege. I call it birth privilege. And birth privilege is simply the two people who made you is what they gave you. Uh, it's your gender, your race, uh, often your level of physical ability. And, you know, ironically, these are the things that we usually discriminate based on. Uh, but those are your birth privileges. You didn't really choose them, uh, but you were born with them. The next set of privileges is what I call selected privilege. And these are things that you choose as you grow. That could be where you go to school, what career you choose, maybe your religion. Those are your selected privileges. Now, the combination of your birth privilege and your selected privilege is what I call your portfolio privilege. And so these are the, these are the things that you have, whether you were born with them or whether you chose them for yourselves, that give you access to benefits. Now, I want everyone to look up here and find the privilege that you have. Maybe you have gender privilege. Maybe you have racial privilege. Maybe you have religious privilege based on uh, the country that you're currently in. But find, find at least one. Some of you may have all these privileges, but everyone I'm sure in here has at least one. Now, as you think about how you got here today, to this point, either in your career or in your education or wherever you are in your endeavors in life, how much harder would it be without one of your privileges? Maybe if you didn't have your gender privilege. Maybe if you didn't have your racial privilege. Or perhaps if you didn't have the privilege of going to a good school. Or maybe you were born with some disability. How much harder would it be to get to where you are now? But then realize that there are people who you work with, you go to school with, who have to labor without those privileges. And it's hard. And they're going up that hill with all those obstacles, trying to get to the same point you are. But they're laboring without your privilege. I think lending privilege can fix that.